Good morning and many blessings, ladies and gentlemen, from your friendly, friendly preserver of natural energy, Reiku, and welcome to Reiku's Sunday Detox. Today is the first episode of February, as well of the month of love, and also my birthday month, ladies and gentlemen. You guys have been sticking it out with me at this point for two months. Congratulations. So I wanted to talk about one of my favorite organs um, in your human body, which is your heart, which is a um, very major component other than your brain that helps your body function and about the health benefits about keeping it healthy in different ways about keeping it healthy. First and foremost, let's talk about your heart. Your heart is that big organ in your body that basically, you know, pumps blood throughout the entire of your body, making sure that everything reaches its destinations safe and sound. Now, I want to go ahead and let you know the reason why your heart health matters is because one in every four deaths in the U.S. is due to heart health um, and heart disease. So I always want to tell people you want to kind of be very mindful of your heart and how you treat it. Um, People can literally die of broken hearts because this is the month of love. I felt like it would be very ideal to start this month with the subject at hand. Now, when it comes down to your heart health, it does correlate with a lot of things that we talked about last month about, you know, making sure you get adequate sleep and staying hydrated and stretching because honestly, your heart is always constantly working even when you are not. Same with your brain. Um, everything in your body works as a system. Now, I, I tell people these things because I do care about them. It does not matter about your heart your weight and your shape it definitely does depend on are you taking care of your body or at least attempting to take care of your body um so now back to the one out of every four deaths in the u.s are due to heart disease um it is correlating when it comes down to high blood pressure high cholesterol um, you know, smoking, genetics, diabetes, and overweight. Um, yes, you can be overweight and then still have good heart health. Um, you just have to make sure you are attempting to stay active and keep your health, like your heart pumping. Um, now, a lot of people don't realize that, you know, stress is a silent killer and stress can actually lead you to having high blood pressure. Um, you may not know your blood pressure is high until you start feeling those, you know, tension in your chest, um, having anxiety and stuff like that causes your heart to pump and flow faster. Um, you need to go ahead and be mindful of those things. A lot of things that I also like to tell people is you want to make sure that you're eating healthy, you're drinking water, you're staying um, with a little bit of cardio and know what your health history is. So first and foremost, know your body. And in order to know your body, you want to know what your family history is. Does your family have a history of high blood pressure? Does your family have a history of heart attacks? How can you prevent falling down that line? Because a lot of the times when your family has a history of having high blood pressure, high cholesterol, or um, having heart attacks, you're more likely to have it. So you want to go ahead and know what your history is. Take some time. Talk to your mother Find out what her family history is and talk to your father and talk to your grandparents. If you're not close to anybody in your family, there is tests that you can take (laughs) to go ahead and find out about your genetics and see what the likelihood is. Um, So you want to know yourself in order to know yourself first. You always want to start with your history. So go down your genetic tree. Then when you go down to your genetic tree, then look at yourself. Look at your intake. Are you practicing healthy heart habits when it comes down to, are you sleeping well? Are you stretching? Are you doing cardio? Are you 
taking time to pump your heart in an adequate amount of speed and making sure things are going the way that it is? Are you eating high fiber foods? Are you eating good things that help your blood and help regain your red blood cells? Because how also having the adequate amount of blood in your body is good for your heart as well. Because that is what your heart is pumping. It's pumping the blood and helping things move from one point from point A to point B to point C in your body and all the way around back to the center. You want to avoid eating high sodium things because that does add on to high cholesterol. Um, try to find more natural ways to season your food um, versus having salt. So let's say you're making, let's say mac and cheese, find high fiber um, pasta noodles. And when it comes down to cheese, if you're using cheddar, most cheddar already has a lot of sodium in it. So you don't really have to add a lot of salt. And I know a lot of people add salt to boil water. Um, try to end up avoiding high iodine salt and things of that nature. You want to be very mindful of your sodium intake and making sure you do not have, um, that, um, just also like it's not bad to have sodium it's just bad to have too much sodium um another thing is that you can also have a apple a day um the the statement have an apple a day keeps the doctor away it's just mainly having vegetables and fruits every single day is actually um very helpful when it comes down to your heart health and as long as you kind of force yourself to eat some kind of fruit every single day or drink some apple juice or some orange juice, it's real good. Now, too much of a good thing is also a bad thing, so also be very mindful of that. I mean, like you can sit here and say, all I eat is fruits and vegetables, but too much fruits and vegetables is actually very, very bad. If you need to revisit the periodic table because the periodic table tells you how much you should really have in your system per day um as a serving to make sure your body stays healthy i know it sounds very cheesy and very elementary school but it is um definitely something a lot of people fail to realize that that is a valuable thing in your body um it's revisiting the you know food pyramid when it comes down to it as I call it the periodic table of food um I've been saying that for, since I was a kid so don't judge me on that um also avoiding tobacco products now again tobacco products have been found to be unhealthy not because of the actual tobacco itself but the stuff that they use to process it um, so I can't really say stay too much away from tobacco products, more or less stay away from the chemicals that is in tobacco products. So if you're going to smoke, which I can't tell you to not smoke, um, just avoid anything that is very processed and high process um, in it. If you're going to do anything, do your own rolling, um, pick your own tobacco, make your do your own tobacco products and things of that nature. Also, maintaining your um, healthy weight. Um, now, I can't say that is going to be easier said than done because there's a lot of people out there in the standard is overweight because honestly, I am technically overweight. I am 190 pounds. I don't look like it, but I am. I am 190 pounds on my good days and then on my bad days, I'm a little overweight. And then there's some days I randomly lose about 20 pounds and I don't know what I did differently. Um, so you want to really, really be very mindful of your weight and watching your weight. Now, I don't tell you to sit here and look at a scale every day because looking at a scale every day does make you depressed, but just be mindful of your weight. Um, try to exercise a little bit, um, to maintain the weight balance, but not, you know, go ham on it. Um, because sometimes overworking out does overbuild your muscles and, overbuilding your muscles make it work too much and overworking anything can make it shut down and break down and have issues like I said too much of a good thing can also be a bad thing you also want to be mindful of your alcohol consumption I'm not saying don't drink alcohol I'm just saying be very mindful of it now partying is fun it's great it's going to make everything good um, you just want to make sure that you are mindful of the alcohol 
consumption and tobacco consumption and if you are smoking cigarettes try to be mindful of are you working out with it how many cigarettes today are you smoking is it high processed ones can you limit your cigarette intake by actually hand rolling your own without all the additional chemicals inside of it because honestly it's the chemicals tobacco is a natural product but it does become a lot harder when you are using stuff that has been manufactured and been processed in a lot of chemicals. Um, now when it comes down to other stuff like smoking marijuana, that is, um, not as processed and a lot more healthier for you. You do want to be also mindful of the papers that you're rolling with and how much you are consuming. There's a lot of good health benefits with marijuana, but when it starts getting processed and having all kinds of other stuff, you do have to be very mindful of that. Now, here is the subject that we have been talking about when it comes down to physical health. Um, last month and making sure that you don't stay stressed and you mentally keep yourself um, in order. A lot of people don't realize when it comes down to your heart, your brain and your heart work hand in hand. Um, A lot of people say, oh, you're thinking with your brain, you're thinking with your heart. Yes, they actually work simultaneously together um, when it comes down to a lot of stuff going on in your body. Um, When your heart pumps too much, your brain starts working more. And when you overthink, your heart is pumping more. So it works hand in hand. So you just want to be very, very mindful of your mental health. When you are overly stressed, it puts more wear and tear on your heart. And when you're not drinking and consuming enough water, it thins your blood. And when you are drinking enough water, it makes your blood, your your veins actually more open and more aware. So you want to stay hydrated. You want to drink water. You want to maintain your stress levels and be mindful of your stress levels and make sure that you're practicing the healthy things when it comes down to your stress and your mental and emotional level. Now, when it comes down to physical levels, there is many different things you can do. Cardio, 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 as uh, the lovely surviving zombie land guide says is cardio, cardio, cardio. Definitely make sure you practice your cardio. doesn't have to be anything major, but you definitely want to make sure you are practicing. Now, you want to be mindful of what your body is trying to tell you. If your chest starts tightening up while you're working out, you might want to give your heart a little bit of a break. You're overworking it. Now, when it comes down to um, as you're getting older, you know that your cardio levels, you need to do more cardio, but also got to be mindful that your heart is working even more as you get older and then starts to reverse back in the reflects when you get older. So it's going to start when you get to your peak time, your heart's going to be pumping more. It's going to be more lively. It's going to be everything. But as you get on older and you slow down, it is going to start slowing down more. So you have to maintain that cardio to make sure your heart continues pumping at a level that is adequate for your body. Um, sleeping, your body, your heart doesn't have to pump as much. That's the reason why practicing good sleep is real good. And making sure that you are walking and counting steps. Like I said, when it comes down to your heart, you don't have to do anything major. You can stretch because that definitely, your heart's going to constantly be pumping throughout the entire time of the night through the day, no matter what you're doing. Like as I speak right now, my heart's pumping. And the more elevated I get into the conversation, the more it starts pumping. You can sit here by simply figuring out the pressure points in your body um, to feel what your heart rate is at and knowing what the adequate amount for heart rate is good. Um, There's going to be a lot of things when you start Googling, practicing, and good heart health that is out there that is going to be beneficial for you. And then there's a lot of things out there that's going to tell you hey, back away, this is bad, you know, you shouldn't do this. Um, I tell people a lot of times, you can die from a broken heart. Yes, you can literally die from a broken heart. And you want to know why you can die from a broken heart? When you get overly stressed and overly emotional and depressed, 
you tend to not want to do anything. You're not having your heart pump as much. You're neglecting your heart and your body. You tend to not pay attention. You tend to not want to do cardio. You tend to not want to drink water and stay hydrated. You tend to neglect the essentials in your body. Um, You have to realize that self-love starts with you. And in order for you to avoid a broken heart, you have to love yourself. So when it comes down to heart health prevention and avoiding dying but from a broken heart, you want to make sure that love starts with you. Being in the month of love, you have to love your heart, love yourself, love your body, and no healthy habits, no portion control, no drinking water every, like drinking every water every single day keeps you hydrated, um, electrolytes and working out, even if it's something super minimum as walking and also going down the taboo line of even masturbation is healthy for you. Um, I mean, it's not taboo for me because anybody who knows me knows I openly talk about masturbation and how healthy and beneficial it is, especially being that we are in the month of love and a lot of people are, you know, practicing um, getting ready for cuffing season or the end of cuffing season because it being Valentine's Day, um, masturbation is good and healthy for you. It, um, helps you with your stress levels, helps you rest if you're horrible at resting. And I will tell you, masturbation is good for you every single day. I know a lot of Christians is going to be like, oh no, masturbation is a sin. It is scientifically proven sex, safe sex, and masturbation is good for your heart. It's good for your stress levels. It's good for your sleeping. It is good for everything all around and it actually is actually good for helping for you to go down into the next subject of actual sex now when it comes down to it there is a lot of lovely lovely taboos or not taboos um myths that sex actually can cause you having a higher risk of heart disease in all actuality Healthy and safe sex will actually lessen the chance and is less likely to have any effect when it comes down to giving you heart disease. You want to be very mindful of how your blood is flowing and how it is going when it comes down to it. So masturbation and safe sex and healthy sex every single day if need be. You want to be very mindful of your body and how the blood is flowing and how it's pumping and everything. It it releases endorphins. Endorphins is actually very good on your heart. So are you practicing good health habits for your heart? Are you practicing loving the right people in your life? Are you staying hydrated? Are you eating the right type of fats? Are you eating the right kind of fiber? What are you doing to help your heart and help prevent heart disease? Do you know your body and its history? Because you have centuries of histories in your genetic code that you may not know or be aware of. You don't know what you may be at risk of. You don't know what you may possibly end up having later down the line or passing to your children. So always start with yourself, especially in the month of love. In order for you to love someone else, you got to love yourself. And in order for you to love, you got to love your heart. And your heart has to be in good health for you to fully love anybody. So ladies and gentlemen, make sure you're getting adequate rest. Make sure you're staying hydrated. Cardio, 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 and more cardio. And portion control. Are you checking your genetics, seeing what your history is, knowing yourself inside and out? Are you portioning the foods that you're eating? Good fibers. Are you getting the right amount of meals every single day? Are you limiting your poison intake? Um, Because like I said, processed tobacco has a lot of 
you know, chemicals in it. So if you're going to smoke, smoke hand rolled, it's a lot healthier. And masturbation. I am a advocate of masturbating. I am not going to shun it. I am never going to, if I ever have a child, a son, a daughter, I'm going to tell them that masturbation is very healthy for you. It helps your stress levels. It helps you sleep. But I mean, at an adequate age, I feel like everybody should do it, especially in between having actual sexual encounters. You want to make sure you are taking care of your body. So self-love is good love. So when I tell people self-care is the best care, I am definitely talking about masturbation. And then when you do meet up and have a partner, it helps that sexual balance. It helps that flow of the blood. And then most importantly, on top of everything else, utilize doctors to keep check on your blood pressure, your cholesterol, and your all-around heart health. Are you at the healthy weight you need to be at? Are you where you are health-wise? How will you know without seeking medical attention? So get your daily or yearly checkups if you need to, because your heart is very important just as your brain. Your stress levels is very, very important important when it comes down to making sure that your heart stay healthy because people can have heart attacks at any age and the moment you have a heart attack you are more liable to have them and more receptive to having one after you have your first one your heart every time it goes through major damage is more and more weak same with having heartbreak your heart is more and more weak. You think that you're more guarded. You think your heart is getting harder. In all actuality, your heart is taking damage. Just like every ding, every dent that you may hit on a metal plate, that is your heart. So take care of it because your heart is what helps your brain flows. Everything goes hand in hand. Your heart and your brain goes hand in hand. Think logically about what are you doing to prevent heart disease and to keep your body healthy. Remember everybody, self-love is the best love and protecting your energy and make sure that in order for you to love someone else, that you're loving yourself and that starts with that. So again, make sure you're protecting your energy. Have a wonderful Sunday and a wonderful week. Again, guys, I'm sorry this episode is very short and very all over the place in a way. Um, Like I said, I was moving this week, but next week will be more structured and more organized as we continue on to the Treat Yourself episode of my Sunday Detox. And make sure you guys are good. Thank you again. Protect your energy.